Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Back Classic Game Room on Patreon! Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. I love that classic NES era Konami music. This brings back some memories. I had track and field too way back in the day. This is the game that the NES Advantage was made for. Well, this one in Contra. Because Contra had that trick early on, you know, before the internet, before you could just figure anything out, you had to actually use some sort of ingenuity and scotch tape to hold down the fire button with turbo on your NES Advantage overnight to just shoot those guys jumping off the cliff in the first level, you get a bunch of extra guys. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this game except that it's also from Konami, and Contra is a better game and it has waterfalls. But, um, Track and Field 2 has the Konami jet. I mean, come on, look at this. Nice cutscene. This game was way more exciting back in the day. It's been sitting on my shelf for years, and I've, I was going through looking at some NES games thinking, you know what, I, I haven't reviewed Track and Field 2. And I've got a Track and Field game for the Atari. So it, it brought back memories of the days when I was in Track and Field. Yes, did, did you know that when I was in high school, I was a high jumper, and that's funny. Because that, that, those were the years before I discovered beer, and um, I was actually in shape. On your mark, get set. And it was actually half, half, uh, halfway decent. I jumped over my own height. I'm four foot two. Anyway, so how do you play this game? You uh, waggle the power glove around and just give it the finger over and over again. That seems to do a good job. Also, turbo fire, alternating left and right, helps with the swimming. Some of the events came right back to me. Others, others I'm pretty sure I just didn't do right. Like like swimming, I don't know. Who, who cares? There's no lasers, I don't, I don't care. Uh, triple jump, on the other hand. Now this brings back some real life bad memories because I tried triple jumping once and basically that thing where you jump and then you jump again I landed and just basically like twisted my knee around so it was like the one time I ever triple jumped and the last time I ever triple jumped but I, lo I love his little happy dance at the end uh, then there's diving which people seem to care about diving that's nice the hammer throw was uh, kind of fun you just uh, move the NES Advantage joystick around and let go of the button and you throw this thing and it lands on someone hopefully The only events I really liked in track and field 2 are the ones where you shot things. I mean, big surprise there, I know. The diving would have been better if there were sharks in the pool. Uh, the karate kind of reminded me of Karateka, which also brings back bad flashbacks from uh, when that was my only martial arts game on the Atari 7800. And it's not a good mar it's a terrible game. It's very bad. This is much better than Karateka, but it's still not a great- It's just not a great game. I mean, tracking field does not make for good video games. But you have to give Konami credit for doing the best job they could possibly do with this. I don't have track and field one, but I think this one has way more events. We've got canoeing, woo! It's just an excuse to go outside and drink beer. I mean, why- Actually, that does sound like a good Olympic event, come to think of it. Ah, now here's my favorite event in the entire game, archery. Archery is actually really good. Um, archery and skeet shooting are the best two events in this one. 
you uh, have to look down there and you know check check the distance, look at the wind, and then you uh, pull back a little bit, let go. You don't even really need the NES advantage for this one. You're not mashing buttons like the uh, hurdles or something. But uh, the, the archery is fun, so is the skeet shooting. Ooh, here we have skeet shooting. Now, skeet shooting is a lot of fun. I've done this in real life, too. It's a great time. And uh, considering this one does not use the zapper, it's still a fairly good shooting game, even without the dog that taunts you. Hurdles. When did hurdles ever have the water... The water traps. Isn't this something they reserve for horses? Isn't there a thing where horses jump over stuff and... I don't know. It's hard to get excited about the hurdles, but if you have the NES advantage, you just set the turbo fire all the way up, turn the knob all the way to the right and just hold down the button and jump. You know, jump when you c approach the water and you'll you'll win the hurdles. Uh, here we have the... I, I actually forget what this is. The thing where the people spin on the bar. Somebody should punch whoever invented that. Anyway, back to archery, which actually has some real-life practical applications in case you need to shoot some water buffalo or something. Notice I'm on the furthest distance, and I'm still kicking ass. I'm good at archery. And I guess some people probably really enjoyed this one. I don't know. Ooh, pole vault! That's one thing I could never I could never do pole vault in real life. Kind of fun in the in the game though. This is actually one of the better track and field style events. You know, you just poke the pole where you need to poke the pole and Yeah. That's how that works. Classic Game Roma has been brought to you by How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, and Hazers the Coked Up Chicken on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo Volcano! Starting with Billy and Andy Schleiss. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Jason Gore. <laughs> Sergio Matthias Hergert. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>